Nidhi, congratulations. Another successful conference, another year that's coming to a closure. Um, you have been at the helm last year as well, and I've had the pleasure of coming and helping out here. Uh, so, two years in a row, uh, much better, much bigger audience. No, I know you're absolutely right. Uh, two years in a row, much better and much bigger, and I think that was the goal. Right. Um, last year, when we built the conference, um, we were trying to make sure that we find a good balance, a right? good balance of how much um, uh, funds we could raise and how many audience we could bring in and eventually make it a good place for people to communicate and uh, collaborate. Right. Um, this year, it was very, very easy, I'll tell you. Our goals were bigger. Right. Um, the programs, the target that we had was much bigger, but we achieved it. Um, it was hard work, but we knew we were going to get there. The confidence level was very different from what we had last time. And as you said, confidence comes with doing, right? We knew it's going to work out. So I'm happy about it. It turned out great. So one of the other important elements I have seen is leadership, right? Uh, you're a leader in your work environment, but you're also a leader of with many successful people from IIT. And so it's, it's the biggest brand coming out of India. So some lessons of how all these highly intelligent people come together yeah. uh, purely as a passion to put something together for networking. Mm -hmm. And so what are some of those elements of experience that you know you have encountered as as president of this uh, Bay Area chapter? Mm -hmm. So um, it's since you mentioned about leadership and this is leadership conference I'd like to mention my point of view of a leader. Right? Um, I think leader is the one who is the first one to take the hit and last one to take the credit. And, and they make sure that everyone's eyes are on the goal because the goal is bigger than all of us. If you lead with that feeling, that thought, it becomes easy to make decisions. It becomes easy to take your stand. You know what is right or wrong and you move in right direction. Another thing I've understood is once you're scaling an organization or you're working towards something very big, you can't do it alone. Right? You need other leaders, you need other people who are equally passionate about it as you are. So the master stroke of the leader is creating more leaders. So from goal perspective, uh, when I run this organization, I think from that perspective, whoever we are bringing in team, are they the future leaders? By personality, beyond the vision of organization, that is different by personality. Are you the person who see leadership in this way? You can collaborate, you can make plans, you can make decisions that are so clear there's a proper rational. It doesn't have to be right all the time, right? But it has to be right in that moment. There has to be rational, right, beyond it. So that's how I see leadership is a big deal. Well said. Um, but besides being the president of IIT Barrier Asso Alumni Association, you're also a professional, right? You have a day job and you have a double job as a mom and as a spouse. So it takes a lot. Yes. Um, Nobody says this job is very easy to run this conference because late night, you know, midnight calls and all that. So I want to switch gears a little bit to understand your passion outside of this conference and this organization. Uh, you have mentioned that you are very passionate about empowering youth for leadership. And why do you see that as an important area and, and what are some of the uh, suggestions you have to impact and improve their lives? Yeah. I think if you want to build a community which is strong and drive bigger initiatives, um, you have to empower every segment. You might have noticed this year we had women's event a day before. That was a part of initiative. It was not the purpose of having an event. Okay? So that was the initiative that we thought of last year and followed path and made it happen. Um, so over the years we have been empowering multiple segments. We have focused on our senior segments as well. We have focused younger segments. Uh, younger entrepreneurs that has been always the focus is being a leadership conference and now women and diversity but I think we need to shift left like I come from security industry as well so and in security is one of the big thing that you shift left you make change earlier ahead of time so it takes effect and it's more mature when you come to the point I see um, investment in youth leadership as that I have three kids myself and when I go home um, when I have I share a lot of details with my kids I tell them what is going on why it matters what are the challenges in society and what can we do about it because admiring the problem is not enough right? we got to do something about it uh, but then I also see the gap that yes you want to do but how 
right? Saying that we want to do something is not enough. You have to give a platform. And I think we have built a platform powerful enough that can now we are at a stage at a point that we can do something about it so as you mentioned youth leadership iit Bay area is one but even from personal perspective even at my work um, we want to make sure that we involve younger generation much ahead we tell them the truth that this is what it looks like when you want to serve when you want to grow when you want to contribute because contribution doesn't only mean benefit for the person you're contributing for or the community you're contributing for there's a reward for self as well so once you are driven by the feeling that you're doing it for the that reward that feeling that's when the passion comes in so i would want our next generation to be passionate about giving passionate about real issues and be true about it and have courage and courage not just a courage which is based on some data points you need to go deeper and understand what things are build that courage build that confidence so you can challenge yourself and others and then make a difference that's what we stand for we have a powerful community we need to enable younger generation as well absolutely very well put um, again congratulations on the success i should say a better success than last year for this year's conference and thank you for giving opportunity to all these people who have come and made this possible Thank you so much, Mateen, and thank you so much for your support as well. And I'm thankful to each and everyone in the community. We can't build bigger initiatives without the support. We need support. We are ready to take the lead, and we want you in the lead with us. Thank you. Great. Thank Thanks you. a lot.